Hi friends, welcome to Together Time. I'm Mr. Mark and I'm so glad you're here. And I'm also glad that here joining us today is our special friend, Dr. B. Hi. Hey, so for those of you who don't know Dr. B, Dr. B, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at the church. Well, I'm the senior pastor here at the church and uh, and I love it. There's so many wonderful people at the church. And so I get to be in ministry with uh, a wonderful group of people like you and the other staff members uh, and with a wonderful congregation, including really wonderful children. Wonderful. And you've also been in a lot of costumes during Vacation Bible School. Oh, yes. Yeah, inclu- uh, for sure. <laughs> including the costume of Dr. B. A B. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're so glad you're here. We're glad you are here. It's time to find out what our theme for Together Time is today, but we're not just going to tell you. We're going to make it exciting and fun. Let's get a big drum roll going. Ready? Here we go. Drum roll. Today's theme is cold. Look at these eyebrows. That's right. Our theme for today is called, and that reminds me of a Bible story. Actually, that reminds me of a bunch of Bible stories, but one in particular. First, let me get out our Bible, the book of God's love. And you know me by now. We're not just going to open up the Bible. We have to sing the song. Here we go. This is the Bible, the book of God's love. This is the Bible, the book of God's love. Written by people inspired from above. Oh, this is the Bible, the book of God's love. That all was very impressive, Dr. B. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mark. So our Bible story for today is about God calling Isaiah, and there is a lot of action in this. If you're waiting for a story with something to do, this is the one. So listen very carefully. I will read part, then I'll give you something to do, and watch Dr. B, and he'll show you what to do. Ready? Here we go. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a high and exalted throne. The edges of God's robe filled the room. Let's all sing an angelic, oh! Winged creatures were all around him, each with six wings, two wings to cover their faces, but don't make sure not to touch your face, two to cover their feet, and two for flying around. That's a lot of wings. The winged creatures called out to each other saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, Lord God Almighty. All the earth is full of your glory. All the earth is full of your glory. The sound of their voices made the doorposts shake. Let's rumble our feet. Rumble, 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 rumble. And the temple filled with smoke. Let's wave our hands like we got to see through all the smoke. And I cried, woe is me. Woe is me. I am ruined. I am a man of unclean lips. And I live among people with unclean lips. And now I have seen the Lord Almighty. Then one of the winged creatures flew to me. The creature was holding a glowing coal that he had taken from the altar with tongs. The creature touched the coal to my mouth. The winged creature said, now that this has touched your lips, your guilt is taken away and your sins are removed. Let's take in a nice, deep, relieved breath. (sighs) Then I heard the voice of the Lord ask, whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. So what does it mean to be called by God? What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? It doesn't have to be a a big rumbling room with angels with six wings. Maybe it's a whisper that your heart hears, a whisper calling you to reach out to someone who might need help. Maybe to reach out to be with someone who feels lonely. You know, Isaiah was called by God, but Isaiah didn't feel worthy. And God called Isaiah 
anyway. Because God knew that Isaiah was worthy. God can and will call anyone. And that means you. So keep your eyes, your ears, and especially your heart open. At one point or another, God calls us all. Oh, do you hear that? Listen. That's the sound of the amazing, the stupendous, the majestic kazoo, letting us know that it is time for... Joyful Noise, the portion of Together Time devoted to Psalm 100, verse 1. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Let's find out what our joyful noise is today. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Word. Jules, I'm here. Is everything okay? Okay? Murphy, do you ever look in the mirror and realize you have wasted your entire life? Entire life? Jules, you're six. Oh, how the time flies. Poof! Jules, what is this all about? Some kid from our church brought a whole jar of coins to the office and says, now get this, I want to donate this to the mission to help children who need it more than I do. Well, that's lovely. I know. That kid is so squared away. She's making a difference. That inspired me. I have got to get my act together. Murphy, I gotta do something. Like donate coins? More than that. Give away everything you have and save the world? Less than that. Okay, let's start with something you really like to do. Something I like. Hmm... I'm pretty sure helping others is supposed to feel like a chore. Remember the saying, give till it hurts? Hmm. Well, I like this saying better. Where your greatest joy meets the world's great need, there is your calling. Ooh, I like that. Let me see. What do I really like to do? Hmm. Well... Okay, my mom says I have more energy than I know what to do with. Yeah. So, oh, I know. I can inspire the world to exercise more by doing one million jumping jacks for humanity. One, two, three, four. Jules, five, I think six, you might want to. Seven, uh, eight, okay. nine, ten, ten jumping jacks. For humanity. Okay. Uh, that felt more like a chore than I thought it would. That's okay, Jules. Our calling isn't always the first thing we try. Maybe we should approach it from the other direction. Think about what the world needs now. What the world needs now is less. Focus, sweet. Jules. Okay. Sorry. okay. You know, something I think the world needs is to know it's okay to think and believe different things without yelling at each other. Well, that is definitely a need. So what's something you truly love that could inspire others to speak more kindly to each other? Jumping jacks? No. Singing gentle ballads from the 60s? Think deeper. Oh, uh, what do I love to do? Oh, I've got it. I love to talk. I know, Jules, but what I mean, I, I really love to talk. What if I use my power for good? Instead of just talking about me and what I like, I could tell others what I like about them. I could ask questions and invite others to share good words, too. What if someone says something you disagree with, like, the best flavor of ice cream is vanilla bean? Mm, yeah, but uh, vanilla bean is... knows that <sighs> while I prefer chocolate chocolate Murphy I respect your opinion please tell me why you like vanilla bean wow Jules that was very good really because it still felt like a lot of work that's okay just because it's your calling doesn't mean it's easy but if you love what you're doing and you really believe it helps the world 
then the work actually feels good. So how do you feel? Inspired. To fill the world with good words? Yes, right after we fill our tummies with ice cream. Come on, my treat. Now that is inspired. And now we come to snack time, where we get to sit with one of our Together Time friends and have a snack. This has been Snack Time. Tune in next week to sit down and have a snack with another Together Time friend. Hello, wonder seekers, and welcome back to my lab. I am Professor Science Pants, and together with my assistant, BibleBot3000, we are going to explore the wonders of God's amazing world through science. Today, we will perform the telephone experiment. For this experiment, we need several short lengths of PVC pipe, a few elbow joints and couplings, all should be half inch in diameter. First, we'll start connecting the lengths of pipe. We'll use different elbow joints and, and couplings to hold all the pipe pieces together. They don't have to make a straight line, the wackier the better. <laughs> and yes! Now we have our PVC telephone. If you don't have a PVC pipe at home, a long tube like a hose might also work. Next, we'll invite Mr. Mark in. Oh, Mr. Mark! Mr. Mark! Oh! <laughs> Mr. Mark will hold a microphone at one end of the tube and I will whisper into the other. Let's see what happens. Hello, hello, Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark. Can you hear can me? You hear me? I'm speaking, I'm speaking through, through this too. Bananas. Thank you, Mr. Mark. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that I could whisper at one end and you could hear it at the other? How does science do that? And what does it have to do with the Bible? Professor Science Pants! Professor Science Pants! Uh, yes, the Bible Bob 3000. Do you know what made our telephone work? Affirmative. Sound is made of vibrations. Speaking into one end sent those vibrations through the air in the tube, and they only had one place to come out, the other end. Some early speaking tubes could carry sound up to 300 feet. Ooh. Uh, BB3K, you want one brilliant robot. Aww. Because there was a tube connecting my whisper directly to Mr. Mark's microphone, you could hear exactly what I was saying. You know who always has a direct line to us? God. God had a direct line to Isaiah, and Isaiah heard the call. I wonder what God might have in store for each of us. Wonder Seekers, thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you again as we explore the wonders of God's amazing world through science. science. So what do you think God's call for you might sound like? Are you worried that you're not up to it? Are you afraid that you might be unworthy? Take heart. God has put something beautiful in you and is calling on you to share it with the world. God knows you can do it. And even when you forget to believe in yourself, God believes in you. So that brings us to our closing prayer. It's a call and response prayer. And here's how it'll work. I will say my part and then your part, your response will be, I am worthy, I am called. Like this. I am worthy. I am called. So listen to me and watch Dr. B. And here goes our call and response prayer. Loving God, give me eyes to see your call. I am worthy. I am called. Give me ears to hear your call. I am worthy. I am called. Give me a heart to embrace your call. I am worthy. I am called. Amen. Amen. And now let's close with one of my favorite songs, Do Not Be Afraid. Do not be afraid. 
Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is is there. God is there. Dr. B, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Mr. Mark. I yeah. loved it. Thank you. And we're so glad and we're so lucky that you're called to be here with us mm. and be a part of this church. And we are lucky that you are called oh. to be here too, Mr. Mark. Thank, thank you. you. And we're all lucky that you are here. It's not church without you. Amen. So what are you called to do? Who are you called to be? Go find out. Bye-bye.